Question number nine from the practice paper B, Pure Mathematics 1 from International A Level. Um, <clears throat> here we're given an inequality that we need to solve. 4 plus x divided by x is greater than 3. Okay, we have to be careful in this type of problem. If this was an equation, if it was just 4 plus x over x is equal to 3, then we could multiply both sides by x and then we'd get 4 plus x equals 3x squared and then we can proceed to solve this quadratic equation. However, this is not an equation, this is an inequality. Okay, and we are not, we're not aware of what um, x is in terms of its sign. It could be a positive number, it could be a negative number. We don't know, it's unknown. And we know, or we should know by now, that when we multiply an inequality by a negative number, the direction of the inequality sign must change. So if we multiply by x, not knowing whether it's positive or negative, it's possible that we're going to make a mistake. So what we have to do here is we have to ensure that we're multiplying both sides of the equation by a positive number. Okay? If we're multiplying by a positive number, then we don't have to worry that the inequality sign will remain the same. And the reason why we wanted to multiply by x in the first place is to get rid of this fraction. So we multiply by the LCM of the denominators, the lowest common multiple of the denominators to get rid of the fraction. However, it doesn't have to be the lowest common multiple to get rid of the fraction. You could multiply by a number which is um, a greater multiple than it. Okay, it doesn't have to be the lowest one. It will still get rid of the fraction. And that's exactly what we're going to try and do now in order to solve this problem. So if instead of multiplying by x, if I multiply both sides by x squared, now even if x was negative, when you square it, it becomes positive. If I multiply both sides of this equation by x squared, I'll have x squared times 4 plus x over x is greater than 3 times x squared. In this case, what we're going to see here is we multiplied both sides of the equation by a positive number because whatever x was before you squared it, it's going to become positive now. And we also have um, fulfilled our objective of getting rid of this fraction because this is a multiple of x. x squared is a multiple of x. So you're left with x times 4 plus x is, get, is greater than uh, 3x squared. Okay, so we've, um, we've fulfilled our objective and we can now continue. This is 4x plus x squared is greater than 3x squared. Now, if we try to solve this, we'll end up with minus 2x squared plus 4x is greater than 0. Okay, if I want to now, I can, I can divide both sides by negative 2. In that case, the sign has to change the other direction. So I'll end up with x squared minus 2x is less than 0. So now I want to solve this quadratic inequality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out when x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. Okay, now x squared minus 2x is equal to 0 when x is 0 and when x is 2. When x is 0 and when x is 2. And this is going to open upwards like this. So here we have, okay, we want to find when this is less than 0. So we can see that this is less than 0. It's going to be less than 0 when it's below the x-axis. Okay, all these values here will give us a value where this, this curve is less than 0, where it's going to be somewhere on the negative side of the, the y-axis. Okay, so... We can see that that's between the values of x being 0 and being 2. When x is between 0 and 2, this thing will be negative. x squared minus 2x is less than 0. So that, those are the solutions to this equation. Okay, so the, the range of values of x which make this true is when x is between 0, is greater than 0, and less than 2. And we can even try it out if you want. For example, when x is something that's, uh, it can't be 0, of course, it would be undefined. So if x is something that's greater than 0, for example, 1, if x is 1, you're going to have 5 over 1. 5 over 1 is greater than 3. But if you make x, for example, greater than 2, for example, 3, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 divided by 3 
is for sure less than three. So you can even, you know, just try some values to just make sure that you're on the right tracks. And there we have the solution to the problem. So this question is quite an important one in terms of um, the fact that you don't just multiply by x both sides. There's a lot of people, they multiply by x and they end up with one solution anyway, okay? Um, you have to multiply by x squared, all right? You have to uh, multiply by x squared. If you multiply just by x, you'll end up with just um, one of these particular um, ranges. You won't, end, you won't have the other one. And the reason why we can't multiply by x um, is because we don't know whether x is positive or negative. It's possible that it's negative. So you have to multiply by a positive number. So to make sure that you multiply by a positive number, you square the x. That way you're multiplying by something that will turn this into, um, a, this, that, will, <coughs> that will convert this from being into a fraction into just whole terms. And also you have preserved the fact that the inequality sign can stay the same after you multiplied it by the x squared. Okay, so that's the end of that question.